Okay, so this is me finally getting around to do a face up for my doll zone honey. And I originally painted her body on another video here on my channel. You can see the process that I use. And it's going to be the process I'm going to use to blush or totally change the resin color of other dolls going forward. You can see here I'm looking at, or trying to show you, um, in the joints and places of wearing and tearing over time. Granted, I haven't done much with her, but like sitting her down on this little like chair thing that I have has done some scuffing there. And then looking at her, her knee joints, there's some scuffing there. Nothing too terrible, but that's to be expected on, you know, if you did regular blushing, common blushing, or, or more widely done blushing, you would hear, have all that wear and tear on the joints. This one's pretty okay. Um, I haven't been too gentle with her either. I'm not super gentle with my dolls to begin with. Gentle enough. But uh, there's not too much wear and tear on this. I think it would be fairly easy to, to repair as well, and it's not permanent, easy to take off. Um, of course, <laughs> it's been on here for the better part of almost a year now, or whenever I put that video up. Quite a few months. You can see her original color here in her head. But anyways, I'm just speeding things up here. Uh, hopefully it's not too fast. Um, these are some of the materials I used. Like for those colors and stuff. I'm trying to figure out which colors I want to use for her face up. And it was a really long video and I didn't want it to be super long. Those are her eyes. Love her eyes. Um, so I'm deciding on these colors. Going with like a light sort of peach color. A darker pink uh, or magenta. And then... The original color that I used to do the gradient on her hands, ears, and legs. Um, wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do, but trying to go back to just using these are acrylic paints. Trying to go back to using some techniques that I've used in previous face face ups, because uh, I don't know. I just I haven't had too much luck using other things. I just I want to do what I'm comfortable with and confident with. Here I'm using those little makeup sponges um, and I'm using a watered down version of the acrylic making it like a um, watered down version just to spread over the face and then using those makeup sponges to help uh, even it out and uh, make it a smoother application and to blend. So I'm, I'm liking that that's new but I've, I've always liked using acrylic on face ups. I have gotten some newer and nicer, uh, what do you call those things, um, chalk pastels, but I haven't done enough face-ups and I just, I just want it to be, <laughs> I want it to be nice and I don't want to have to do it and do it over again and again because there's just so many dolls that I have to do face-ups on. So I want to do something I'm confident in and if I feel like I need to change your face-up down the road, I will. At the end, you'll see the face up that I've done, and I'm quite satisfied with it actually. It's uh, one of my favorites I've done in a while, so I just went with the flow and tried to just uh, fill things out. So I'm putting all these colors pretty bold on her eyes. Um, I later subdue them a bit, but. Yeah, and I totally changed her lip color in the end, you'll see in the photos. Looking back at this, I kind of wish I just left them like this color here. I mean, well, at least it looks good on camera, I don't know. Just maybe if they were just a solid that, maybe. Eh, I don't know. I could always change it, technically. And then I put this pink over it. So it's really just going with whatever I feel filling it out going with the motions um, but the biggest thing is when I'm using here uh, I didn't use any MSC I didn't seal her face or anything because technically what I did is the whole body is sealed um, so using a I don't know if I showed it in the previous clip but you can still see it in the previous video I have on my channel concerning this particular doll it is the Dura Clear Satin Varnish 
and it's a polyurethane water-based um, sealant and I uh, so I, I didn't do anything to cover her face or, or do anything to, to prep the surface because technically I feel like it was already prepped and had several layers on it already now when doing this there's not many room for mistakes. It's not like, oh, if I would ever wipe this face up off, yeah, it's going to take all this purple paint off the, that I painted the doll with. Because, uh, like I said, it's not permanent. So, I wanted to... I guess that's why I didn't do her face, face up. Because I knew I didn't want to mess up on it. And then I just decided, you know what, just do it. Have fun. Stop worrying about messing up and just, just do it. You know what you like. And you're not, like, totally incompetent on creating something that you'll like so I just went for it and uh, this is when I really started using my sponging technique so here I am muting out the, the harsh lines and colors of the, the pink and the peach that I put here you still have it underneath, but I'm um, just putting a, a lighter layer on top. Of course, everything looks better up close and in person. Um, but, yeah, so if I would ever redo this face up or redo anything on her, you can't just wipe it. You'd have to repaint her entire head. So, that's the thing. I suppose that's the same thing if you were to dye a doll, you'd have to, to do that. I've only dyed one doll ever. Um, and it was a good experience, uh, but you had to seal it, and then it it, it bleeds onto other to clothing and things like that. Because I didn't like seal her whole body with like MSC or all her parts. I sort of just left her for a while. I did do a face up on her, but I'm probably going to end up cleaning her all up and seeing if I could take all the dye out and then just redoing her body like this. Because this this was nice. You didn't have to boil all the parts and dip them in the water, boiling water, swish them around, try not to get marbling and all that other stuff. It was a uh, pretty straightforward you definitely get a more accurate shade you just mix your paint or you can just go straight from an acrylic craft paint bottle and get the exact shade that you want when doing this technique if you watch the other video um, and so I really enjoy it and I'm glad that I'm finally getting to to get to her final look I thought I would do something a little less but then this is this is a little more over the top I was gonna do something a little more minimal but she ended up the way she ended up, so it's fine. Like here I am doing a little more blushing. So I ended up putting some more uh, the the hot pink or the magenta over the peach that I did, and I really did enjoy it better after adding adding that on top, layering it. I think only own like really three pink shades of, of acrylic paint. I don't own a lot of acrylic paint like I have in the past. So there wasn't too much to choose from, but the shades are fine. Um, let's see, what am I doing here now? What am I moving on to next? Like this video was over an hour long and I've like put it down into like 18 minutes or something like that so I'm really speeding through this here I kept pausing and then coming back so am I doing purple liner I think I'm doing purple I was gonna use black but then I started using this dark purple I had and I think or did I switch to the black already I might have skipped that already it's hard to see <laughs> it's moving so fast so I think I'm just I'm just doing yeah I'm lining the eyes yeah you know, with the black liner here just black acrylic paint Good old black harsh lines on the eye. I think I'm gonna get around to doing the, the lashes here now, yeah. So I was trying to figure out what to do. I was gonna use a more watery uh, version of acrylic paint, but then I decided to just go just full on, have it a, a little less watery to have a little more control over it. So end up doing the lashes. I wasn't looking for anything super like thin and just filling it out because I knew I was going to be putting some pretty intense 
eyelashes on, attaching those later. So, I had a lot of fun. It was, it was a lot of fun to do this. And, um, I always learn something new when I do a face up. Something new, I want to try something new. Something I want to repeat. Um, I definitely want to try some gouache next time, maybe. Maybe a gouache. That way it might be easier to like erase mistakes. There weren't too many. Um, I, I was painting pretty confidently. There weren't too many things where I was like, oh no. But every once in a while when I did something that I didn't made a mark I didn't want to make, I had to like wet like a paper towel or something like that and wet it up before the acrylic paint would, would set. Got the eyebrows pretty even. I mean, they don't need to be super even, but... They're fine. I wasn't going for any particular look except for just something that, that I thought looked good. Okay, so now I'm grabbing white acrylic paint. What am I doing? Oh yes, I'm just highlighting a few things. So this is when I started putting a little bit of white highlight into the eyebrows and some little white lines onto the lips, which I don't keep. I just end up just going over the lips with that pearlescent sort of blue periwinkle purpley metallic stuff that that I used so the lips don't stay like this at all I just felt like in the end they should be another way and yep a little more painting and painting and I don't know what else to comment on here Um, just, I guess, not to have any dead spaces. I mean, I could just leave it without saying anything, but, I mean, it's just me doing a face-up. I don't know, I'm not trying to teach anybody any particular techniques or anything. Here I am adding some little freckles. Um, I knew I wanted her to be a little bit over the top, um, what I would call over the top, because it isn't as minimalistic as I was going to. Okay, so that's important. Here we go. Here's something if you wanted to use it, or this is what I use. I use this fabric fuse. You can run that back or whatever. Um, fabric fuse paint is a sorry fabric fuse fuse glue it's the best glue I found to use or at least the one that I found that I like the best for putting in eyelashes so I'm grabbing a toothpick this fabric fuse glue I realized at this point I was grabbing this stuff ready to do the finishing touches here I am glossing the lips with the Mod Podge but then I was like oh right I didn't seal her face I didn't seal all of her um my, my face up basically so I think I started, what did I do? I usually grab the, um, that, that stuff right there. I usually grab that and seal my face ups because that's what I use originally when I'm doing face ups. It was my go-to, but I think I'm going to be using this other technique now, um, this other material now because it does, it does come off. So I was sealing it with this. It dulled down a lot of the colors and everything. And I didn't like that too much. It does leave a texture. It's it's matte. I mean, it is a matte medium after all. It is matte. But then after a while, I was like, you know what? I don't like that. So I was pausing it here and there. I let it totally dry. And I ended up just putting the DuraClear, Deco Art DuraClear polyurethane, um, what is it? Satin varnish over it instead. So that it matched what she had originally, the original finish. And it's, and it's really nice and smooth. Those are very smooth. I like it actually better. I actually have one that, that's matte, that's a matte finish that I'll probably use on another one, but I wanted her to, to, to be like, um, wanted her resin to still look like the rest of her body, which is just a satin finish. It's not too, too shiny or anything. Um, so now I should be getting back to finishing her stuff. <laughs> I just forgot to seal her face earlier. So now I'm putting the glue into where the eyelashes are going to touch. I like to put it in there and then I let it sit to get a little bit tacky. Her eyelashes went in quite easy, which, which is nice. I just ended up using some elf eyelashes that I bought that I thought I was going to use for myself when I was thinking I was going to experiment with putting on eyelashes and then I was just like, nah. So I, I just buy human eyelashes when I put eyelashes on dolls. Now 
this is something new, these little gems that I got. I got them to put on some doll clothes and stuff, and this cute little sticky little tacky tool. But I said, hey, I'm going to put some gems on her face, you know. Why not? So I, I used the same glue, that Fabric Fuse um, permanent glue. It dries clear, and it's nice and, and tacky, so I just, I just put it on and just pop a couple of these little uh, iridescent, sort of like a white light iridescent. Uh, gemstones on. Thought about jewel jeweling up her face a lot, but then I thought, let's, let's, let's not do too much. I mean, maybe I'll do that one day for, for a particular doll, but like, like I said, I don't want to change her too much. I don't want to do too much. I can add more later if I want to, but I think she had just, just enough. Just enough for me. So I put some here in the tear duct of her eye. Um, and then let's see. Okay, here's the lashes. So I clipped them down. So I clipped them down so that they would fit in her eyes. I don't even know if anybody's going to be watching all of this. Like, I just, I'm just going on and on. Excuse the background noise. It's not too quiet where I live. Um... Yeah, they went in quite easily. Uh, and quite neat, too, because I made some mistakes where I put the glue in and it squeezes into the back of the head. So sometimes, you know, when you're putting in the eyes, the eyes get attached to that. If you're changing all eyes and doing things, then it messes up the eyelashes. But I was pretty impressed with myself. There weren't too many mistakes or really anything um, when doing this. It took my time. I thought I was going to do it quicker. Here I am taking a video of her finished face. If you notice, her lips are a different color. Mm -hmm. I just painted them purple. I was like, forget it. They're going to be purple. Uh, really satisfied with her. I was going to do her way more minimalist, but then... Like, less. Just I was just going to do less, but I went, I went in and I did a whole bunch more. So, very satisfied with her. Really like these lashes. They, they really just... They pop. And they're very... Um, they're, they're on quite well. They're quite durable. So here's some steals, some pictures of her. She's so cute. Oh my gosh. I, I, I'm so happy with, with her. Now that she's finally done, she has a wig. I just had to make her a custom outfit, her very own little outfit. Um, she wears mini fee shoes, by the way. Little mini fee boots. Not mini fee. Fairyland little fee boots, like boots that fit like little fee. So she's got like the same size foot. Uh-uh. Yeah, she's oh so cute, so cute. So this is the Doll Zone Honey. She has some little clear acrylic wings and an and antennae that come with her too. So look for pictures are on her of her on my Instagram. Definitely glad that she finally has her face up and she's getting done. So feel free to subscribe and look up for way more face ups and videos to come. I'm trying to post more consistently, but I'm not making promises because. Just, just know. Bye.